Let's be very careful and correctly identify this inequality. Notice this is a quadratic inequality. So we're going to use a number line method to solve this inequality. To do so, first of all, write down the related equation. That would be 2x squared minus 7x is equal to 15. Now I'll let you solve this equation using previous methods. If you subtract 15 from both sides, you can solve this by factoring, and when you do so, you'll have negative 3 over 2 and 5 as solutions to this equation. And the only reason you use this equation is to find these solutions. Now let's write those solutions down on our number line. Here's 5, and somewhere to the left of 5, here is negative 3 halves. Those are the only numbers I write down on the number line. I don't write down 0 or anything else, just those numbers. Notice those two numbers divide the number line into three regions to the left between the two numbers and to the right, and now we'll check and see if these regions are solution regions. For example, to check and see if this region between these two numbers is a solution region, pick any number in this region. I'll check 0. Check it in the original inequality. It either makes it true or false. If x is 0, this is 0, and this is 0, and I have 0 greater than 15, is that true or false? That is false, so I'll place an x above, letting myself know that that is a false region. It is not a solution region. Then check any number to the left of negative 3 halves. Now that's negative one and a half. So for example, you could check, say, negative two if you wanted. You could check uh, negative 200 if you want. But check a number in each region. Here you'll find that this checks. Check any number greater than five. Substitute it in your inequality. You'll find that that region checks also. Now we just need to write down our solution regions. We write down every region that we checked. We will use parentheses in writing it down because this inequality symbol is strictly greater than. So write down from left to right. It would be parentheses, negative infinity, to negative 3 halves, parentheses, union, 5 to infinity. This is our solution of this inequality.